Good morning. It's twenty past seven on Monday. I had to be. I was going to walk around the room, and then I have to remember that I've got a mirror. And if I stand by the mirror, you'll see me naked. Which you know, that's a different channel. Um, I'm about to weigh myself, but I already know the results. Um, <laughs> um, in fact, I'll do it now. Oh, I know I can't because I need the phone. To, anyways, yeah. Um. I'll show you in a second what I already know, and I'll get back to you now. Hold on. So, as you can see, put on half a pound, which I am not disappointed by, because I know why. I know how my body works at this point. I know that I am fourth day into a certain meant to be monthly cycle but with me it's every three freaking weeks and that's one reason and I know another reason is um, I'm reacting to something I've eaten more mushrooms than normal and I can feel bloated and I wonder if it's that quite possibly and also I had you know, Indian over the weekend and a day of barbecuing and alcohol. And even though it is not possible for me to calorifically put on half a pound in that time, because that would mean an excess of around 2,000 calories on top of um, that, and there's no way that I have an excess of 2,000 calories um, on top of what I eat this week, last week. Um, I know it's going to be gone soon and also because I've tried on some clothes which I will show you in a bit and they feel, a, feel and fit a heck of a lot better so when I'm see makeup on one I'm no makeup on the other I, so when I get to lunch time which I will explain in a second as well I will show you some things some clothes to try on you know the best thing about kittens they never stop being kittens, even at age 14. <laughs> That's in the mood now. <laughs> well, hello, good morning. Coffee going. By the way, I'm not going to be doing calories underneath and, and carbs and stuff anymore. I think you kind of get the picture. Um, just to say as well that I don't stop here with the keto, obviously. I'm still a stone away from my, uh, well, eight pounds away from in the healthy bracket and a stone away from being um, at my target. So I won't be ca um, stopping here, just like I didn't stop with the uh, no spending thing, because the only thing, un unnecessary purchase that I made was obviously my tasty bag, which was well worth it because it's gorgeous. And at some point in the week, I will let you know how I'm going with the savings and squirreling money away because I've been quite good at squirreling money away. Right, so this week's experiment, I'm not going to do a whole month because I'll tell you what it is and then you'll agree with me. So, kind of inspired by one of Karen's recent videos, um, which was also like a video that I did last year where I... Um, I recorded how much work I actually did in a week and I found out my hourly rates and I remember thinking back then, God, if I actually worked full time, imagine the amount of money I could actually make. So because I'm saving, so this is all combining together, wibbly wobbly, because I'm saving for a tummy tuck, um, I figured that I would do a week's worth of work, week's worth of work on a properly proper you know basically 35 hours I'm gonna work this week um, and see what if any results there are I might not find out an hourly rate it might not sales might not kick in for ages because obviously a lot of what I do is auctions and so they're not gonna kick in for like a month but anyway so my sort of plan is I'm gonna work 35 hours obviously the joys of working for yourself and working from home it's flexi time so um, I'm gonna be clocking in at some point very soon and I've um, got a list of stuff that I want to do and I'll show you my list in a bit and um, 
yeah, so 35 hours, I'm going to give myself some time off for lunch. I'm not going to do a strict like 7 hours a day if I want to work 10 hours today and then 4 hours tomorrow. I'm also going to do that because I'm on flexi time. When I spoke about this to some of the ladies the other week, um, Auntie Sue kind of joked about like, oh, you'd have to have a uniform, dress up for work and stuff. And I thought like, actually, what better thing to dress up for work in um, than something I couldn't fit into at the beginning of last month. So, this is what I'm wearing for work today. This is just a Primark top, I think it cost me about three quid. And then these trousers, which I couldn't get into at the beginning of the month, no fit. And I freaking love them, and you probably can't see them because you're in silhouette, or well, I'm in silhouette. So let's take you over here, and you can see properly. And I freaking love them. And these are pure wool, so I might take them off at some point because they're quite warm. Then they cost me a pound, and they're from Monsoon, and they're a size 14. Now, annoyingly, a couple of days ago I tried these on, and they fit a bit better. So it just shows that I am a bit bloated. But when I get less bloaty later in the week, I will show you them again. Deal? Deal. Okay. Right, now I will show you my list of things that I want to achieve today and my targets for the week. Right, okay, aims for the week first of all. So I want to get one month ahead of my auction listings. I start 10 new auctions every night, boom, and then if they don't sell the next day they go to buy it now at a slightly increased price with, buy it, uh, with um, best offers on. They all have best offers on anyway even if they're auctions. So I want to get around 360-ish auctions done, eBay listings, so that um, I am a month in hand. That would be quite cool. I also want to get tw um, 100 Etsy listings done, which means around 20 a day. And if I've got time, and this isn't my favourite thing to do, not like listings are my favourite things to do either, I want to do my March, April, May, June accounts, because say by Thursday or Friday, PayPal reports for June will be available so I can do them. It's going to be a lot easier seeing as I haven't been going out and spending lots of money on stuff. So I have, I've got like four receipts rather than like the 400 that I normally have. So it's going to be a lot easier but it's still quite time consuming. My tasks for today are pack my regular eBay and Etsy orders. So I think I've got 16 eBay and one Etsy order to pack up. Pack up my YouTube orders from yesterday, which I suspect might take most of the morning, especially because um, some people's addresses and I've got to go back through emails and just make sure that I'm sending it to the right address and stuff. I've got to send invoices for the remaining orders. They're for the ladies. And I was like, would you mind waiting a little bit longer for me to sort yours out? Um, because we're mates and stuff, I know that they don't mind waiting. I know nobody really minds, you know, that they go a little bit later but because these are my friends they're like yeah whenever it's fine which is cool um i would like to list 70 auction lots today so get a week in hand today i'd like to list 10 um etsy items um i might be having a little dual reorder coming today quite possibly although they did say that it was damaged in transit which is bloody typical it got all the way to like the Bougen sorting office apparently and then it's like oh it's broken so we'll see if they deliver it today and then if I've got time I'm going to do more um, auction and more Etsy listings so and um, Monday is a problem because obviously we have Kelly going live at nine and then Shelly going live at half ten so I'm going to try and make sure that I am doing something slightly less thinky when they are on so that I can kind of listen and join in a little bit with them. So those are my plans for today, and I will show you in a sec all the stuff that's going out. <coughs> Too many things in the way. Right, quick going out then. We've got this Daisy Tiffany style. It is stamped Tiffany, but it's not. And so I've just said designer inspired Daisy cup. I haven't mentioned Tiffany. Um, and that one went for $15.99. A Pia Beck the brooch took an offer of seven pounds on that and the auction lot of unmarked silver uh, that went for 16.99 oh bugger i've forgotten to get something from the garage 
Um, Master Wine card trivia game, new and sealed, four ninety nine. Had it bloody ages. I have to go and get that now. Um, a pair of Tiger's Eye clip-on earrings went for five pound ninety four. A scarab beaded necklace went for nine pounds thirty four. A gorgeous, gorgeous Art Deco style ring, beautiful, went for thirteen ninety nine. Love that. A Monet twisted rope necklace. That went for sixteen ninety nine. Uh, some rather groovy plastic earrings. They went for six pound fifty. This lovely Art Deco style necklace went for fourteen pounds forty four. These two go into the same buyer. Two pairs of um, Clusone enamel earrings total of £11.50 I took offers on those a untested stroke broken spares repairs watches lot went for £11.99 this um, lovely little brooch which looks like it's handmade with like possibly a bit of enamel or something in there that's quite nice that went for £7.50 um, a Wallace sack leather jacket Took it off for £12, it had no interest whatsoever, so I thought the eps of it. Um, a brown delft style brooch in sepia colours, went for £7. And then this pair of earrings, but they want me to hold on to them because they're looking at other stuff, went for £9.99. And then over on Etsy, we've got this little silver, um, it's a little wishbone pendant there. So that's where I'm going to pack up now. Right, that's eBay and Etsy stuff done, so first ticky off the list. It's just coming up to nine o'clock, but I have got to do the washing up, so I'm going to listen to Kelly while doing the washing up, so no offence, Kelly. <laughs> right, ten o'clock, we're two hours into the day. I've um, packaged up the, uh, well, that's the stuff for the ladies there, and then there's two um, as yet unpaid, that's okay. But that's everyone that's paid for this, and I've labelled them and put the weights on. I just need to go through, double check the addresses, and print them all off. So book their collections and stuff. And then, oh, blimey, crazy. Look at all of that. Insane. Yeah. Time for Shelley and a coffee break. And a mummy break. Right, happy days. Um, my broken parcel isn't here, so God knows what's happening to that. But um, I've got two kilos to go through, so I'm going to quickly do that now. So that was a bit of a speed sorting, obviously, but I sped that up. I'm not really that quick. Anyways, so you might have seen yesterday on Sunday that I sold off a job lot, loads of job lots of stuff, 
And now the whole process starts again. So we've got the beginnings of a vintage jewellery lot, a bracelet lot, rings, earrings, uh, necklaces, non chunky, broken, new with tags, and holiday lot. And then this is stuff that I fancy selling on their own. So this fabulous Art Deco style ring. So even though it's modern, I think it's cool enough to sell on its own. This crazy necklace. Just think it's fab. This uh, rather nice, whoops, let go, let go. Turquoise colored seed bead one. Oh, don't be a bugger. Don't be a bugger. Oh, why are you doing this now? Anyway, this one that's now attached to this one, which I'm also going to sell. This vintage glass one. That's super pretty. This vi um, vintage one that I'm going to fix, it's missing a stone in there. But I think that is just too gorgeous to not fix up. That's super cool. Then a couple of bits of silver, so we've got a very lightweight silver bracelet and necklace set. A little rose quartz heart on a silver chain. A little fairy brooch and unfortunately just one earring, which I might turn into a pendant. And then winner winner chicken dinner, this gorgeous Art Nouveau sterling silver brooch with lovely little, like, um, I don't know what, it's probably just glass uh, in there. Gorgeous. So I paid £20 delivery for that lot. I did have another packet come in, but it's broken, so God knows where that's going to end up. But I'll give it a couple of days to see if it does eventually turn up and then try and hunt it down and stuff. But there we go. So I'm going to pack all these away or put them in relative places and then crack on with labeling up all of that stuff right three awaiting address one still awaiting contact and payment and those all packaged ready for collection tomorrow and it is now time for lunch yeah. yay hooray and mum's making jam for a change <laughs> Right, half past one, I've had lunch, might as well crack on now. In it, mummy. Crack on. Crack on. Right, and I've got my orders that are going up this afternoon, because might as well do them. I've got um, a little bundle of just scrap silver earrings, and they went for £19. <laughs> little, very kitsch, like 1950s, 60s carved plastic, just like floral with some full pills around it. They went for £8.49. A combined order of, there's four bow brooches in there. That little flower one, that flower one, and that bigger flower one, £32.50. And yeah, I think that's it. So I'm going to pack these up. I've got another one from this morning that I've got to go shove in the post box. So I might as well crack on and do that now. Right, it's just gone two o'clock. I've done that last, um, well, that little bit of posting and stuff. And now I've got, I selected 40 necklaces that I'm going to photograph on my mannequin. They're all, as you can see, like bold, chunky, statement, colourful, crazy necklaces. Um, I'll take roughly about five or six photos of each. And then I'll go downstairs and I'll do a bulk, um, uh, like draft where it'll just be like statement necklace or statement beaded necklace or something and I'll make sure it's got the right postage in it and dispatch and things like that um, and then I'll go through, upload the photos one by one change the title, change the measurements etc and colour and things like that and then auction, um, set them to auction and schedule them so yeah, fun times Right, box of necklaces next to me ready to measure ready to tally on there, ready to uh, create my drafts, ready to pack up and put in there. Yes! 
Um, oh, by the way, it's like 10 to 3. So let's see how long it takes me to do this. I think it's going to be a long day today because I still got this, another 30, and then 10 Etsy listings that I want to achieve today. Right, it's quarter to four. I've done 20 altogether so far of the necklaces, so another 20 to go. I've got uh, one more person who's just paid for the, and uh, not paid, let me know their address, so that's pretty much the last one other than the one person that just hasn't contacted me about it, so, ah well, never mind. Um, if you are watching, go back and email me on the thing, yeah, or if you don't want it, just let me know, that's fine. Um, I'm going to have a little bit of a break, my tummy has swollen, oh, for some reason, and I don't know why, I'm wondering if it's whether the avocado, because there was a couple of dark bits in it and I just went, ah, sod it, just mash it in anyway. Whether it's that or whether I'm getting some kind of reaction to eating so much spicy stuff. You don't need to know this. We're not doing food anymore. Anyway, I'm going to take a quick break and deflate my belly. Hey, it's five o'clock. And um, I've actually done 42 listings because I'd photographed two extra necklaces for some reason so my counting ability has obviously gone out the window. Um, so I haven't achieved as yet my target for today but I have done over seven hours of work so I have technically kind of worked from eight until five and I had like half an hour for lunch and then two breaks. So that's a pretty big working day isn't it? Stop in for a bit of dinner and a bit of a rest. Tummy's going down a little bit now. It's avocado, by the way. You shouldn't actually eat a whole one. Um, apparently 30% of people have a flora gut bacterial imbalance, which makes you react to avocado. Mm. So there you go, that's nice to know, isn't it? So only half an avocado from now on, peeps. That's a shame, isn't it? I do like them, but never mind. Um, yeah, so necklaces some of them done well the ones that i wanted to do because that's all empty and if i do do any more work tonight i think i fancy tackling some bangles yeah so that's my breakdown of today so far and after dinner we'll see if i fancy doing any more i like to rack up some hours early on in the week i think and then you know we'll see what happens anyway catch you in a bit uh, it's about half past six now. I've just been watching the lads, the boys, listing challenge. Well done, Derek. Very impressive. Um, and they were putting things on Buy It Now and stuff and things were getting popped off. And it's like, I am ignoring Buy It Now for some reason. I've got loads of stock. I've got enough to put a lot on Buy It Now as well. I'm currently on, let's see how many listings I've got active. Come on. 1,733 active listings at the moment, um, of which 60-something, 60 68 of them are auctions. So I know I go over my 1,500, but I do that anyway, and I think it's worth it. To start keeping things at 1,500, I'd rather much rather go over and pay the difference and sell stuff. So I'm changing my tactic a little bit. I am still going to get a few weeks in hand of auctions, so I'm going to try and get up until the 12th of July done, because obviously at some point I will go back to work normally, you know, next week, and do like five hours. Um, yeah, so rather than getting a month in hand, maybe I'll get two weeks in hand, which would be enough, and slam on a load of buy it nows. So I think that's what I'm going to do, yes. And I'm going to start with this box of bangles um, because they are quite easy to list and quite easy to photograph. <laughs> Done. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to crack on with tonight. It's half past six. I'm feeling good. Bloating is gone. 
you'd be pleased to know. Or at least it's going. Blah. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> yeah, anyway, I'm gonna get on with the shiz and speak to you later. Half past seven and I'm done. <sighs> but I've done. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, yeah. 55 listings done today, um, all auctions. Um, and then I've also sorted out, I'm gonna be doing bangles tomorrow, but they are gonna be mostly buy it nows. So I'm gonna do, what am I gonna do? I'll do these in the morning, after lunch I'll do some Etsy, and then I'll go back to doing some auctions. That's the plan for tomorrow. As me's just squeaked, it's time to say goodnight. How many hours is that today? I can't do maths, as you may have known. So, what have I done like 10 hours today? I'll work it out later and put it on screen after this. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Good night. See you tomorrow for another full day of excitement.